see that little network symbol? It probably says LTE or 4G or 3G, or if you're retro enough to still rock a brick Nokia, it says E, which is 2G. Over the past 40 years, each G or generation introduced a new thing that we could transmit with our phones. 1G gave us sound, 2G gave us texts, 3G gave us mobile web, and 4G LTE made everything about 10 times faster. So what's the big deal with 5G? First of all, 5G is crazy fast. The fastest 4G modem today maxes out at 2 gigabits per second, while 5G's maximum speed is 10 times that, at 20 gigabits per second. And those crazy high speeds are coupled with a nearly zero latency rate, which is the delay between sending and receiving information between devices. 5G is eventually expected to communicate in almost real time, with one millisecond of lag. By comparison, human reaction time is about 150 to 300 times slower. About 30 5G devices are expected to be announced this year, and the current frontrunner is the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G, which will likely cost over $1,000 and is only available in a 6.7 inch screen size. This year it will also have a hole punch display, dual lens front facing camera, which means no notch, and barely any bezel, plus four cameras on the other side. Also coming out this year is the eagerly awaited Huawei Mate X with a foldable screen, which also supports 5G and has similar specs to the S10, but with a $2,600 price tag. Apple will likely delay their 5G rollout for another year or two. Although, as is always the case with Apple, nothing is certain until the official announcement, which is still months away. And frankly, this isn't such a bad idea on Apple's part, since most national carriers aren't expected to provide full coverage for 5G until later in 2020. So if you do buy a 5G-ready phone this year, you may not see a massive difference until your carrier and your city take advantage of the new network. But this tech isn't limited to phones. Imagine a future where hundreds of real-time connected cars travel down a highway, each of them knowing exactly where every other car is around them without any human input. In fact, all controllable robots and devices will benefit from 5G connectivity, spanning from factories where robots can communicate their tasks to each other wirelessly, to new farming techniques that use coordinated drones to plant, monitor, and water crops autonomously. Now, you might be thinking that this sounds perfect and hurry up with the miracle of speed and tech, right? Well, ironically, not so fast. One major drawback of 5G technology is that it achieves its speeds with millimeter waves, which max out at a few hundred meters and can't go through things like, you know, walls and bad weather. Of course, that doesn't mean 5G won't work at all, as it also heavily relies on the same waves as 4G, which can travel long distances and aren't similarly limited by walls or rain. That's why companies are pouring billions of dollars into building an entire new infrastructure of transmitters every few hundred meters in every direction. So for now, you'll have to wait a little bit to take advantage of the self-driving car, no-lag gaming, and drone farming future. But once it's here, things are gonna get a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier.